Time to put some angle on uh, the V8 car. These arms are the same as for the E46 kit. They are made of a very special type of steel which can also absorb some impact. It's quite light and here's the billet top mount. As you can see it's adjustable and here's the tie rod with a billet centerpiece and of course the Weissfab specific uniballs. That's what we call a lollipop or the chassis mount which is also adjustable so you can adjust caster with that and there's the hub add-on or lock spacer which is of course a steel part CNC made with a lock stop and of course the kit comes with clear instructions as you can see over here makes it all very very easy is it working out it's gonna work out so you put these on first put a little bit of loctite on the top nuts over there very important this is a really nice feature because on this car as you can see it has v8 so it has headers on both sides so sometimes it's very difficult to reach the top nut uh, which attaches the bolt so YSUP came out with this solution where you can mount uh, the arm from the bottom so you don't have to undo the big um, nut that goes on top of the subframe which is very nice because um, it saves you time and uh, with five minute rolls and things like that this can be very very important don't forget to take a look at our website as well, einzel.nl. We ship worldwide, of course, Weissfab, Feel Suspension, our own brand Einzel, gearboxes, quick change differentials, axles, all kinds of things. A lot of fabrication components, of course, air jacks, subframes for quick change, you name it. Drop us an email and we'll hook you up. So that's the pin outside of the car. This is a hex 10 and as you can see over here this has a provision for um, a uh, anti-roll bar link. This is the lock stop which is adjustable and the newer version arms have an offset pushing so you have a little more droop so the arm can physically go lower um, if you would detach it from the shock. Um, so yeah, all very very nice. This is a hex 8, as you can see, so make sure you have that as well. Fitting the arm, the easiest way is to first put it into the chassis mount or lollipop and then secondly into the subframe pin and lastly you put it into the hub piece. Regarding the tie rods, we always recommend to not only use the standard lock stop but also put a lock stop in the steering rack between the inner tie rods so you'll have a lock stop on both sides. The lock stop touches this part, so the more dots you have in the back, the less angle you're using. We recommend using some thread locker or Loctite on all of the threads. Some of them it's not really necessary because they have the locking nut, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Again, on my USA M3 car, I did like 9,000 miles, nothing came loose, but it's important to just retorque everything after the first event and check that nothing has happened. The top mount installed. Over here you need to drill a hole. Easy trick to find out where that is is to take the other one Put it over here and you can mark it. On the 36, the left and the right one are the same. 
So let's, uh, if you use the factory settings the way it comes in the box, it's going to be uh, correct on the way it's uh, supposed to sit. As often with Wisefab, the lock spacer also functions as a drop knuckle, so the geometry and the angle of your control arms also improves from this case.